guys, today we're going to be practicing solving division problems again using arrays, but this time with worded problems. Worded problems are always a little bit tricky because there's lots of, you know, fluff and words around those numbers. So it's really important that we practice a few strategies to make them as simple as possible for us. I'm just going to go through two different examples and just highlight some of the strategies that we can use when we're solving worded problems. Here we have our word, first worded problem. It's really important that we read it clearly and understand it. So Jack has 15 marbles that he wants to share between five friends. How many marbles will they each get? Now it's really important that I look within that worded problem for some important information. Straight away I can just visually see two numbers and I know that they're important. And I also can see um, share between which is my big kind of hint at that I need to be using division. Okay, so on this slide, I've just highlighted that important information. You guys will have highlighters at home. So I know 15 is really important. I know that we're sharing between, and I also know that there's five friends. So I know that there's 15 shared between five. Okay, our next step is to put that into a sum. Okay, and I've got that on the next page for you. So here we can see, that 15 goes underneath our division bracket there. Our, on the outside, we're dividing it by five groups or five friends, okay? And I've also put in a bit of an array. Because there's five people that we're sharing between, we've got five rows in our array. And if I shared 15 out, there would be three in each row, okay? So therefore, our answer at the top is three. Each friend will get three marbles. Our next sum is a builder needs to share cement into four buckets. He has 16 litres of cement. How many litres of cement will be in each bucket? Now this one's a little tricky because it's worded a different way around. So we don't find out how much is being shared until the second part of the worded question. Okay, so again I've highlighted those important numbers 16 and 4. And I know that the builder needs to share into four, okay? So share into four groups or four buckets. And he has 16 litres of cement. So I know that my next sum will be 16 divided by four. Again, just showing you how it is set out. Okay, so I've got my 16 under the bracket there where um, that's the number that I'm sharing. On the outside, I've got the number that's being shared into. So we're sharing into four. I've put a little array there. So again, we're sharing into four, which means I've got four rows going down my array. And if I shared 16 out evenly across four rows, I would have four in each row. And there we have our answer at the top, four. So each bucket will have four liters. Now guys, there's going to be a few different options with our worded problems um, and they'll get increasingly hard. You don't need to write out your worded problem in your books. You just need to, you might want to highlight on the planner the important numbers and then you're going to use arrays to solve those problems in your book. That's the working out that we need to see. Okay, for a worked example or an, uh, just an example of what your book should look like, please see the, the planner. Good luck, guys.